hello and welcome to jmeter intermediate tutorial series and today we are going to see how to run jmeter test from jenkins and we will configure a jmeter test and run it through jenkins okay so uh, if you go to my channel i already have a series on jmeter beginner tutorials and you can go here and you can watch any of the earlier uh, sessions on jmeter for the basic knowledge and today we are going to start on the intermediate series and this is the first tutorial of the series and let us begin with this again in case you are new to Jenkins you can again go to my channel and watch some basic tutorial on Jenkins as well and now in this we will see the integration of JMeter and Jenkins okay so JMeter is a, a leading open source tool for performance testing and Jenkins is a leading open source tool for continuous integration and if we look at integration of jmeter with jenkins i think it goes very well hand in hand because jenkins has uh, plugins for jmeter and in jmeter whatever test you write you can directly put it to jenkins with it with this plugin and you can create you know performance test report okay so uh, let us begin and let us see what is the first step to do this and the first step will obviously be you have to install Jenkins on your system right and again as I said if you have any trouble and if you are new to Jenkins you can see my first tutorial in on Jenkins series which is introduction and getting started and you will get to know all the things about uh, Jenkins basics so once you have got Jenkins step 2 will be you have to get uh, Jenkins performance plugin okay and you go to your browser and say Jenkins performance plugin and the very first site that we get is uh, this performance plugin where you have all the details about this plugin and the version 1.14 is the latest version I will click here and the gen performance.hpi file will get downloaded I'm cancelling this as of now because I already have this so you will get this performance.hpi file and then what you have to do is uh, this performance.hpi file you have to put into your Jenkins plugins folder okay so uh, my Jenkins plugin folder is here inside your wherever your Jenkins home directory is you will have a plugins folder and inside that you have to put your performance.hpi file in case you have any uh, problems in finding where is your Jenkins home directory uh, you can find it through your Jenkins console and let us see how to do that uh, let me start my Jenkins and for starting Jenkins you have to go to your directory where your, your Jenkins.war file is so in my case it is inside desktop tools Jenkins folder and I will say Java jar Jenkins.war and this should start my Jenkins on the default port which is 8080 so let me go to my local host 8080 and this should start my Jenkins okay so once your Jenkins is up you can go to manage Jenkins and you go to configure system and you can see your home directory the path will be listed out here so inside this folder you will get your plugins folder and then you have to put your uh, performance.hpi file inside this plugin folder and then you have to restart Jenkins okay so once you have done this step 3 will be you have to go to your jmeter bin directory and in you will find user dot properties file there and there you have to add this statement so you have to add this line
jmeter dot save dot save service dot output underscore format equals XML. So what we are going to do is uh, go to your jmeter bin and you will find user dot properties file here. Okay. Let me open this. and you have to put this line jmeter.save and the rest of the things inside your user.properties file okay and save it okay so this is what you have to do as step number three okay and now we are done with the settings so let us create we will here create a quick gmeter test okay so let me go to my jmeter and this is a test plan I will make this as jmeter Jenkins integration test okay and I will also save this I'll save this under desktop okay and here let us create a thread group and inside the thread group let us add a sampler and I am I will add a simple HTTP request okay and let us go and test some web page okay uh, let us test this particular web page so I'll copy this give the IP here and give the location of the page here okay and to validate I will add just add a listener to see if it is working properly I'll add a table listener and run this yeah this is successful so uh, let me also add some more request I have just copied and pasted my original HTTP request and let me add uh, let me make this as home page so I will not go to this particular path only the home page uh, this will be called as let's say article page and this we can let's say go to archives page and add this there archives page okay and uh, let us again run this to validate if it's running fine and yes it is fine so let me just make users as 5 and make iterations as let's say 2 and run this okay so so our test case is ready and it is running fine okay uh, now what we have to do is as step number five we have to run the same jmeter test from command line just to validate it is it is running fine from command line because the same command we are going to uh, used into our Jenkins okay so uh, let me go to command line okay so what I will do is first uh, and again if you have any issues in running the gen uh, your jmeter test from command line you can go to the jmeter series and uh, they will be uh, session 7 on how to run jmeter from command line non GUI mode you can look at this tutorial and what I'll do here is I will go to my folder where my gen, uh, jmeter is so my jmeter is here and I will go to my jmeter bin folder and to run it from command line let me first save this
okay we have to say j meter j meter as a j meter dot sh and in case you are on windows you will not give the sh here you will directly start with j meter dot bat and now i have to say minus n is for non gui and even you can say minus uh, minus you can say j and give the same property again here just to verify that this property is uh, taken during test and now i will say minus n for non gui minus t to give the location of my test file so it is saved at users raghav desktop and this is the name that we saved and minus l is the location of my result file so let me save it as users desktop test result one dot jtl and let me run this uh, there is some issue here uh, let me just see yeah we have to say minus j there so this is running our same jmeter test from the command line and yes now it is successful right so uh, let me also copy these commands because these will be required to put into jenkins okay okay these are my commands right so now my test case is ready and can be executed from command line so uh, step 6 will be to add a job in Jenkins okay so I'm going to my Jenkins now and I will say add new item uh, I will say jmeter Jenkins test job a freestyle project and say ok ok and in the configuration uh, let me just add a build step and if you are on windows you will select execute windows batch command and if you face any issues in running this on windows just give me a comment and I will help you out because I am on Mac now I will say execute shell and just to test uh, I will give a some command pwd or let me give date it should print out date and i will say save and i will build the project now i'm clicking on build now so it is building and let me see the console output and yes it has printed the date so my job is configured correctly and now i can configure this job i'm going to this job and configure and now see again I will add a post build step I, I'll add a build step and say execute shell and here I have to add exactly the commands that I created for my gmeter test and these are the commands okay so I'll add these here okay and now the important thing to make sure that the reports are available for with Jenkins you have to add a post build action and in the post build action you will see a option called publish performance test result report and you will get it only after you get the performance plugin for Jenkins and restart Jenkins okay I'm clicking here okay so it is asking me add a new report I will say it is jmeter okay the report file I will give the same location which I am using in my command for the result file I'll give it here 
ओके सिलेक्ट मोड रिलेटिव और एर थ्रेश होल्ड बिल्ड रिजल्ट फेल बिल्ड वन द रिजल्ट फाइल इज नॉट प्रेजेंट दीज आर द ऑप्शन ओके सो यू कैन एड सम थ्रेश होल्ड हेयर दैट वॉट इज द मिनिमम थ्रेश होल्ड यू वॉन्ट फॉर दिस बिल्ड टू बी स्टेबल विद द जी मीटर टेस्ट ओके एंड ऑल दीज ऑप्शन यू कैन पुट शो थ्रू पुट चार्ट एंड ऑल दीज चार्ट दैट यू वॉन्ट इन द रिजल्ट एंड आई विल सेव इट ओके एंड नाउ सो लेट मी पुट इट हेयर एज वेल step 7 will be so here you will add jenkins job and add jmeter commands in build step and then you have to add post build action and the post build action you have to add publish performance test reports okay and then step 8 is you have to run and validate if it is running fine or not so now i will go and say build now so go to console output now see our gmeter test is running the exact thing that we were doing into our command line with jmeter it is doing the same thing here it is running our jmeter test okay this particular test and it is said finished success now if i can go to back to my project and see the performance trend so i have to uh, run it once more i'll say build now and see the console output and yes it is running fine now so my gmeter test is running as of now and it is now done go back to project and now see the first time we did not get any trend because uh, there was a single test but now because we have two tests so it is giving us some uh, performance trend with our uh, performance test and you can go to the performance trend here and it will show you exactly what is your throughput now here we had three uh, http request one was archive page article page and home page it is showing the response time and then the percentage error as of now there there is no error i can go to test case trend and you can see here the same things right this is for archives page this is for article page and this is the home page response time okay so uh, this is how we configure our jmeter test in jenkins hope you like it thank you